Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope all of you guys are doing well, staying healthy, all of that. Um, here we are back with, uh, with the uh, Minecraft series, episode 5. And well, let me just update you on a few things, because we did a few things off camera that uh, you guys should know about. Elevator. Yeah. And out. Okay. I, I, did, I did do some work up here on the upper level of this. I think it looks a bit better. But we'll keep on working on that. I don't want to spend uh, any more time doing that on camera. And I'll do it off camera and present it to you guys once it's done. But I have an important project that I did down here off camera. That I kind of wish I did do on camera. But I did off camera anyways. But revolutionary guys. This is... Like, you guys are going to be blown away by this because it's I, I was blown away by it remember how I said I had found skeleton spawners down here yeah well there's a skeleton spawner right behind this wall there's a wall here for a reason Ooh, iron. but if we go down here I farmified the skeleton spawner that's right if we just stand here and let the skeletons fall, I mean, like, I stood here for a while and just killed a bunch of skeletons. And look at all this stuff we got. The bones I don't really care about, but these bones, man. These bones are going to be really useful for uh, projects in the future. And this is really nice XP grinder, man. Like, let me tell you, really good. But, um, if we just wait here for a second, a uh, skeleton will fall at some point. Usually they're fallen down by now. Come on. Come on. I, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You see? So they fall. And they're only left with one health. And so you, you, you just whack them and, and kill them first try. Which is a really uh, useful farm and one that we're going to be utilizing a lot in this series. Um, w whenever we need uh, some quick XP. Or, um, just bones or arrows or, you know, all that junk. But, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I set that up. And if not, I'll always link, uh, the video that I watched myself to learn how to build that. So go check that out in the description below and leave a comment if you want to see me do a tutorial. Well, actually, we don't need to go inside. But, we also, we need to talk. Because I want to basify this entire area. And I have a few ideas. You guys can see part of an idea already. So I w what I want to do is I want to make this a little village. So I'm going to make like these little hobbit hole houses that are like reminiscent of mine. But mine's like the centerpiece. But like we make these little hobbit hole houses for the villagers. And we'll do ones like, you know, librarian and priest or whatever and all that junk and farmers and uh like i said before like a little shopping district right here a little uh place that's reminiscent of like somewhere you would trade with villagers and then like putting a farm right here and such and so we're gonna work on that today uh i'm gonna go ahead and take the next hour or two and just throw together um, just a like overall concept for maybe how I want it to look or how it will look just uh, maybe not complete all the houses I'll probably do that off camera but just at least maybe like create like the overall aesthetic put like the little holes where I want them and see if I like it or not and if I don't like it then we'll have to undo everything and figure something else out. I've had a really hard time trying to come up with a vision for this place. And maybe things I can do. I've thought about even like putting a huge tower out, out of the top of this um, top of this mountain or something or like a huge tree or I, I don't even know. I'm just thinking out loud but um, let me know down in the comments below your ideas and um, maybe you guys will help me out. And I'll take your idea into consideration or uh, 
or like combine your guys' ideas to create like one huge like mega concept. So I, I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking down below. Let me know. And uh, well, let's just get started. This is going to be a time lapse. And I will see you guys in a few hours. In like two minutes for y'all. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I didn't work on it for quite an hour because I sort of hit, um, not like a mind block, but uh, I feel like there's some important steps that I need to take uh, or like, or like there are certain things I need to do to actually uh, complete this. First off, I am digging this design. I, I I have to admit I'm digging this design. Um, uh, pardon me. Um, of course, this isn't completed. This isn't how it would. I mean, obviously, it's not completed. Uh, if I can, I'll post like a little pic of the little test house that I did it did on a creative world um same map as this one but um i mean not bad it would look pretty dope you know like a little glass in there you know villagers and we'll put workstations in here i tried doing it like diagonally 
because those are like you know on uh, on like north and south or whatever. And this one I tried a uh, a little bit. Uh, not no no. It's diagonal, as you can see. I don't think it looks too bad. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think it would be a bit awkward to put like a house in here, but I think it would work. I think we could do that other places. Um, sorry guys, I... I pulled up some rug yesterday and so my allergies are sort of kicking my butt right now. That's okay. Um, so let's talk about this. Because there's just this big hill right here. On the other side of there, there's the desert. Now, what I sort of envision is once we have our little village up in, up in here, we have this little flower forest and it's surrounded by different types of biomes. And I think that will end up like putting like a little wall, not like a huge wall, but like a little wall just all around it. And um, what I'm thinking is because in order to get to the desert, I have to come all the way up here and I have to go all the way around. And while that's not like horrible, um, I think we'll put like a little like tunnel through this hill. And on the other side is the desert, the, our river. We could set up like a pier there or something or like a bridge to get across. And so I think that that'll happen. And we'll make that look all cool, but, um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to go with this. The only problem is that the, uh, palette set that I chose on my creative world, um, uh, it has spruce wood in it. And I like how it looks with the spruce wood and I don't want to do it with oak. And so I am going to journey to find spruce wood. I, I do happen to know where it is because... Uh, I went on my creative world and I just flew straight in one direction and found the nearest. Whoa! Holy crap! What the? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. We're, we're just gonna... <laughs> Whoa, that caught me by surprise. I was like, oh, there must be a skeleton up here. And then it was just right there. And it had gold armor. I was like, whoa, okay. All right, focus, Sam, focus. So uh, the spruce biome happens to be straight in that direction. There's a huge ocean in between us. And do I have a boat somewhere? Oh my gosh, I have to organize this sorting, sorting system. Um, so we are gonna go to for spruce wood and then we'll bring some saplings back and we won't have to go back there for a long time unless we want to build something up there and then we'll connect some nether portals but let us go and journey forward straight forward because that's where it is and the huge ocean that's in between us and hopefully it doesn't go dark while we're out there because that would suck Whoa, that's a weird color acacia tree because it's inside of a plains biome. But, um, yeah. So I am going to do this voyage. I'm going to skip ahead to, wall to when we get there. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'm back. And um, I didn't collect too many trees. I figured if you just, as long as we have like four saplings, that we'll stay here and collect whatever saplings, what other saplings fall down and such. But then I saw this ice, and then I remembered I had a silk touch pickaxe. And I was like, what if we ever need ice for a project? So, and, uh, well, actually, we can use this to get to certain places really fast or whatever. Or, I mean, I'm sure we can find a use for it, and it's here. So we might as well mine it up while we're here. And so that's what we're going to do. But you guys got to check out how satisfying it is. Because it's crazy with my 
OP so touch pickaxe. Just check this out. Ooh yeah. It's the mine. Ice. Oh yeah. That's so satisfying. Yeah. Out of all the things in Minecraft, being able to insta mine is it's probably one of the best things ever. We're probably gonna come out of room in our inventory uh, with all this ice, to be honest. We collect enough of it, and hopefully that creeper jumps in the water with us. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come here. Alright, now feel free to blow up. Water and you're not going to Okay. So how many... Okay, so we have two stacks of that. Of the ice. So I, I think that's actually pretty good for now. Now that I know this this actually isn't that far. I thought it was too far. Farther away, but it's like not. So, that's good. Um... Yeah. I, I actually think we're done here. We have five saplings, so we can make like a like a mega tree. Oh, now we have seven. Well, now we need eight. There's eight. Eight. So now we can make like those mega spruce trees or whatever, and get like a bunch of a bunch of uh, wood from it. Uh, come here. Uh, come here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, let's go check out the boat. And try not to die in the process because we're kind of far away from home and it would kind of suck to have to come back here especially at night so let's try to make this quick and as painless as possible ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, I can't see because we're underwater ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, here's the boat <coughs> gonna go back up to air oh crap Oh, so we have to be careful here. Because there's like a bunch of, uh... Ah! Uh, no. We're gonna have to wait for day, because I can't see, like, nothing. So we'll have to do that every time. At some point, we're gonna... Although it is easier to swim under, or like, walk in the water, I think. Because I have, like, death strider on, I think. So I think it, that makes it easier to walk underwater. I'm not exactly so sure, to be honest. But, yeah, you know what? Just explode. Get it over with. Okay. No. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to get back to the base. And hopefully I'm not dying in the process. No phantom should show up. But, I will see you guys in like a minute or so, when we're back at the base. And I'll actually just finish, like, one of the houses to show you guys, like, what I want it to look like. So, I'll, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, we're back. Um, back to the house. Safe and sound, didn't die. And I went ahead and completed, like, the pretty much final design for how I want it to look. And tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Because yeah, I, I sort of dig it. I sort of dig it. I think it looks great. Um, I can randomize the textures in the floor, like gravel and dirt and such, and uh, do that sort of thing so that um, so that the floor looks nicer. But I think, I think, this is how I want them to look. And let me know what you think. I think it looks good. And I think. If we had a bunch of those all around, then that would be, that would look super cool. We'd, we'd have a little village here. And as far as, you know, like on the tops of these hills, I could put like farms up here. Put farms up here and put like stairs so the villagers could get up here and work on the farms. <laughs> I hate cave noises. I tell ya. But, um, as you guys know, or may not know, there is an achievement where you have to use up a diamond hoe. 
And I made a diamond hoe uh, a few episodes ago. And so I was thinking, what if we made this like whole plains area like a mega farm and put like a butt ton of wheat here to let it grow? And I think we could use an entire diamond hoe. Or even more if it takes that long. But we'll have like farms up here for the villagers. I'm not sure what to do with that hilltop. Uh, I, I'm really stumped on that. And so, like, seriously, let me know down in the comments below your ideas and thoughts about what I should do with this area. Or what I can improve on. Or, uh, like, what you think I should do differently. And I'll totally, you know, be receptive to anything you guys say. Um, because honestly, I'm like, I'm stumped. I'm stumped, guys. I'm having a hard time, like, really brainstorming about, like, what this whole idea of the base will look like. So please, let me know down in the comments below. But, I think, um, I mean, you know, that, that, that brings up another point. I forgot about this. And when I was brainstorming, you know, I, I was having um, I was having somebody help me brainstorm, and I was looking around in the creative testing world. We have this area right here that sort of like has it's sort of walled off, and it's I mean it, our little like uh, flower forest bridges out to here, and this we could use this. We could use this. I'm not sure what for though. You see, that's the thing. This is an, another part of the base that I'm stuck with. I mean, what could we put here? What sort of farm or what sort of... um? What could we put here? That That's the question of the day. Like, apart from everything else... If you don't want to, if you don't want to comment about anything else over here, please let me know your ideas for there, because honestly, I'm I'm just stumped. But I think, I think like what we have going here, I think is pretty good. And I will keep on working on these things. I'll probably build build a lot of them off camera, but I think you know what else we need to do. Maybe we'll do it next episode. Is fortify the Nether, build a, like because our, our 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 little spawn is super sketchy, and so we'll have to work on that next episode. But I think in the meantime, I don't. Let me walk you through how how I uh, build these things. Let's try and work on this. Because this one is going to be interesting. Um, and I'll need to figure out how I'm going to do this. If I'm going to build more that are like diagonal like this. Because it's a bit tricky. A bit tricky to say the least. But. Because. Because it's diagonal. It's bigger than the other ones I think it looks like it's bigger I could be wrong honestly I don't really mess around with diagonals because that's because things get tricky but the only way to get better is by practicing so let's practice this um I'm sorry if, if I'm a uh, if I'm a little twitchy at a at a had a you drink before this, but um, okay, so from here, this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so this is the length of the room. So, this stuff back here, we aren't gonna bother with. like that yeah so 
that is the entirety of the space in here that we need. Now, we are going to see how this looks. Because there's no point in having that one space there. And you know what? If we just do this. Put the entrance right here. Put the entrance like that. Have that going that way. And we'll do the same over here. Like that. And then we'll dig this stuff out. And we'll put our spruce planks here. That and the same to this side. Like that and then then we do it. there and it, then you just go like that yeah we just go like that and it's just block there and do we want to do it diagonal like that because we could just straighten it out make a point but I think I want to keep the diagonals So it would be right here, like dirt, like that, like so, it would look like that. And then the stairs will be kind of trickier, like the little weirded effect of thing we did in there. We'll have to put glass blocks in here instead of pane, and that's fine. I'm not sure about that back area. I feel like, I feel like maybe I should straighten it out, but it looks fine, doesn't it? I think it looks fine. Okay. I'm, I'm not even sure if I like the street design anymore. Like the ones I had over there. Whoa. Huh. I, th I really like that. And then there did be a doorway here, obviously. I don't. Oh, I do have uh, a log. And then we place a door here. And then I'd have to make more uh, lantern for it. This this room would probably require two, but I like it. I really do like it. Let me know what you guys think. Huh. I really like this. Like, I, I, I know I keep on saying that, but I, I like it. Huh. Alright, yeah. So, I mean, that's the thought process when, when I'm making these things. That's how it goes. It does require more materials, and it is a bigger room than these, these smaller basic ones. But, I think it looks really dope. Imagine those, or stuff like that, you know. Even more of them on like the back sides around here. And like, into all along, like, all around this mountain and stuff, like here. And then I was planning on putting like a barn here. Putting animals in there, like, sort of digging it into the hill. Hillside right here. Having a big barn. Where I keep my horse and stuff. Yeah, I like it. Well, I think I think that's gonna call it good for today's video, guys. Um, 
I'm probably gonna spend a lot of time off camera building more of these houses things and then we'll have to build a villager breeder it's probably back here I'll probably put it back here like over there and then we'll have villagers for an iron farm too which I still have to research and find a design that I like but and then we could put villagers in here and make this an actual functioning village. Maybe we could decorate our mine. Yeah. yeah I, th I think we made a lot of progress today. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but we like created a game plan. You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, I think I like this. I, re I think I really do like it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. And like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated and it helps out a lot. And uh, sorry for missing an upload a few days ago. I'm still having trouble with my editing software. So this might not even go up the day of recording. I hope it does. But um, thank you guys for watching. Go check out the uh, other uh, episodes of the Minecraft series if you haven't. And until next time, bye-bye.